So we got our smart plans ready. We've got our smart plans automated with triggers. What's left for our open house? Well, we've got to design an open house flyer. So to this week, we're going to design our open house flyer. Next week, we're going to create a smart plan email for that open house flyer and send it out. So let's get going. It's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer, and I am excited to bring you a wonderful feature in Command called Auto Create. You know the drill. Let's get started. Go to agent.kw.com and sign in with your Keller Cloud login. Once you're inside of Command, we're actually going to click on Designs. Once you're inside Designs, we're going to click on Create Design. Today, we're going to do a print design, and then we're going to click Continue. Today, we're going to use the Auto Create feature. I'm super excited to show you guys this. You see this Auto Create option up here at the top? Yes, we're going to Auto Create. So I've got an open house coming up. I'm going to click on Open House, and I have two Auto Create templates. So let's click on auto and I've got to search. Let's see if it comes up. Nope. Let's search by address. There's my listing. I'm just going to click on select once I find mine and click continue. When is the open house? Let me put that in. It's going to be June 3rd. So let's go ahead and put that in. And it's going to be, let's do 12 to 2. Let's just put that in there just like that. And then price comes up. The address comes up. I'm actually going to backspace some of this out because I don't need all that extra zip code. Uh, this is not my phone number. So I'm going to make sure everything's right. The details come in. That is awesome. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to add my images here. I'm just going to click the plus button. Finds my images from MLS. Plus button. Let's see. Let me scroll through. I like this one of the pool. Plus button. Let's see. Let's do the entry. I like that one. And click continue. It's got my email in here incorrectly, so let me just change that real fast. That's my app, and let's click Generate Design. And this is the first time I'm actually using this recording it, so let's see what happens. Okay, so it popped up my design here, my open house template. It put Saturday, June 2nd, 12 to 2. That looks a little squishy to me, and... It looks like 2.12 p.m. instead of 2 June 2nd. So I'm going to open my typewriter up, just put a little space and a little dash so that you can tell that that's 12 to 2. And then I love that it put the address in. I'm just going to make this a little longer so it's all on one line. And I'm just going to squeeze it over just a little bit. And then four bedrooms, three and a half bath, 31, 42 square foot listed at 500. And I want the actual money symbol or dollar symbol in there and a comma. I'm just going to save changes. It did everything but my last, my, oh, my front picture. It didn't put a picture here. So we're going to copy and control V. We're going to paste. I'm just going to put that there. Add a third photo because I feel like it needs three pictures. So let me go back over to KWLS. Find a photo. Oops. Circle arrow is what replaces the image. So that looks good. Contact me for more details or to schedule a tour. It's got my phone number but not formatted. So that's okay. This is just requiring minimal edits. I like it. So everything else is on there. I'm going to take that app off there because it didn't put it on there for me. Uh, just got to change my logo and that's it. So let's this we go and I'm just going to bigger so you can see it. And my open house flyer is done. Okay, so I'm going to call this. I'm going to rename this file the name of the property and OH flyer. Open for open house and then I'm going to click download and I'm actually going to save this as a PDF for printing on my computer and also as a PNG so I can use this in an email. So PNG high quality this is only one page so I'm going to just click download it's going to save to my computer here in just a second. 
All right, so I have that saved to my computer. And that's all we're going to do for this week. We're just going to do the open house flyer design. Next week, we're going to make an email design for this open house. And I'm going to show you how to do that next week. So stay tuned.